Well, here we are. Uh, I'm trying to get these videos done. And uh, for some reason, everything is going in reverse. Everything's doing a reverse plane. So, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this freaking camera. Anyway, um, this is actually going to be a musical, kind of a music addition to... Uh, to um, Jeff Blackie's stuff that I normally do. Uh, two different people ask questions about the band. So I'm actually kind of like, wow, someone's actually really asking about us. Um, I was going to keep it for a Q and A, and at the end of the month, but these these uh, two questions actually kind of give into detail. I don't know. Um, so it's going to take like a number, maybe one or two videos to do, to answer uh, these guys. And in the background, you can hear Mornblade. Um, because YouTube now has been screaming and yelling about copyright infringement on music or whatever in the background. So I no longer will be doing those. So if anybody says there's a copyright on this stuff, I'm going to tell them they're full of shit because it's my music. I wrote it. I played on it. And we recorded it. With actual record companies. So anyway, this uh, comes from a guy or named Tangier Six String God. And this is what this guy asked on my private messengers. Can you explain all your Mornblade CDs in detail? Wow. I was like, really? Somebody's actually interested in, in, in the CDs. I was very surprised. So, I guess to answer this is... I guess we have to go to Origins. The band formed in 1987 by accident... Me and Rick, the guitarist, got together over at my house. We plugged in our crappy instruments into some shitty old amplifiers, turned it up, and just made up shit as we went. Rick had some experience in music. He played guitar for a few years. There you go. So anyway, we got together and I was a shitty bass player and I did the vocals because just for the hell of it. So I started yelling into the microphone, just making stuff up and Rick just was just playing whatever. And eventually, um, we the first song we'd done at, by accident was a song called... Um, Stealer of Souls. And then we did a song after that called Lords of Chaos and Hades. Just out of nowhere. I didn't even know what the hell I was saying. But Rick put, you know, guitar to it. And we are just making shit up as we went. So the next few months, we played every Friday and Saturday over at my house while my mom was off to work. And we were just making up stuff. Just don't even know. You know, like I said, I was a horrible bass player. I played in a band called Batman's Enemies prior to that. And another band called Sacrilegious Death, which was pretty bad. It was a horrible band. Anyway, to uh, explain the details of the Mornblade CDs. Um, we played on and off for a number of years. We even had a video. We did a really weird basement videotape inside Danny's garage. which wanted to play the bass for us. So that would just leave me to do the vocals. And you can go to Jeff Blackie, type in Jeff Blackie. And I got like three videos up of us, up, you know, video tape from here down. Because the, again, the camera, you know, we're talking about crappy technology for 1991. And on that videotape, you'll hear us playing Tales of Brave Ulysses by Cream. And then Rick played Your Coon the Usurper and also Vanishing Tower. Those two tracks was eventually was supposed to make it to an EP eventually, but it didn't happen. 
so it's only available on that piece of video and maybe on a cassette somewhere so anyway so on and off we played and put stuff together for the next maybe 15 18 years you know so uh, I went on my first deployment after 9-11 and just prior to 9-11, I wrote a song called Holy War. And Holy War, we wrote, I wrote it, and Rick put a guitars to it roughly about 10 days before 9-11 happened. Hell of a coinkadink. Anyway. So I went off on my first deployment. Rick pretty much stayed at his job, did his thing, played his guitar. Came back in 2002. And uh, me and Rick started discussing playing, you know, trying to, you know, do a little bit more. And over the next year and a half, we put in a little bit of, you know, a little bit of guitar time, a little bit of jamming. And um, Danny, on occasion, would come over, play. And then I would go off on my second deployment shortly afterwards. I got called up in the summer of 2004, 2005 I went overseas, and when I was overseas, I was writing material that was going to later show up in the Morn Blade Mangled Lies CD. So one of the songs I wrote while I was over there was called Mangled Lies. So I wrote it. I also wrote, um, well, besides Holy War, we had Set. Set was actually written in 1988, and Rick actually had a pretty damn good guitar track to it. Lords of Chaos, Chaos, and Mornblade. Steeler Souls later evolved into the band's title song called Mornblade. But on the demo that we did, it shows up as Steeler Souls. So when I came back from overseas, I was alive and well, but suffering from PTSD. I had roughly about 25 grand, and we decided let's go into the studio and let's try to put some stuff down. He says, no problem, Danny was all for it, but we went in to do some practicing, and practice we did. We practiced five songs that later became the Mangled Wise CD. So, it was a Morn Blade demo. We actually did the the hard copy of it while we were in studio, but it has no drums. We didn't have a drummer at the time. And unfortunately, this thing is kind of reversed. I don't know why the camera's like this, but this is the actual Nightingale Studio demo for the band, uh, recorded in 2006. Believe it or not, so... And it was very rudely done. It was very, very rude. At the time, again, we didn't have a drummer. But on this track, the Origins, here you go. The first song was Stealer of Souls, written in 1987, which later became Morn Blade. Then there was Lord of Chaos, written in 1987. Set, written in 1988. Holy War, 2001. And then Mangled Lives in 2005 while I was overseas. So we practiced these for about two months. And then Danny backed out on, on recording. We actually, I actually set up recording time to record an actual, actual five-track album. Danny backed out at the last time because he was going to go get some ass. I'm like, Really? Oh, and here's Holy War in the background, if you can hear it. So, he backed out at the last minute, so I had to take over doing the bass vocals, and Rick took over with the guitar. So, we was kind of in bind. We had, we had an album to record. I set up all the time, everything. The engineers, the studio... All that stuff. Wait. Anyway, so this is going on 10 minutes. This will be part one. Who? 
then we're going to go on to part two talking about this.